So what's going on guys, Right, Box here and welcome back to some more MotoGP 2021 mod and we are going to be back doing another race and uh, I'll take a look in the comments of the previous video on this mod and uh, I've had a, quite a few requests for different riders but there were a couple which were pretty common themes. We've got Luca Marini at Qatar and then we've also got the man himself, Jack Miller out at Phillip Island for his home Grand Prix. So today I'm going to do, let's do Luca Marini and see what this Sky VR46 bike is all about. So it's the livery's based on their their VR46 team. Um, so let's uh, get down to Qatar then. I do enjoy the track at Qatar, so that sort of helped me pers help persuade do that circuit. I also like Phillip Island as well, so. We'll, uh, we'll probably do that one next time, Jack Miller. Then that's the Ducatis sort of sorted. We've already done a Yamaha, so maybe we should look at Alex Marquez next, maybe, after we've done um, the two Ducatis. But plenty of time to test out this mod. It's being updated. It's already had an uh, update after its release. Um, so let's get straight down to the track. Right then, Mir is on pole position. He's going to be starting at the front. And uh, we're going to... We're going to go for a medium rear soft front setup, I think. Going to have to be aggressive with this Ducati. I mean, we're on the slowest bike on the grid, so it'll be interesting to see what we can do. We're about the back, starting at the back of the grid anyway, and it looks like a very nice livery to be fair, so looking good. Let's head out then. Um, a good mixture of soft and medium tyres, to be honest. Lots of soft combos i think we need the medium in the rear just to keep it grounded a bit but it'll be interesting to see how the ai reacts here at qatar always a fun race this one really is i enjoy this race on this game the ai seem to be tuned into the track really well and really good fun to fight with and it's pretty realistic as well so there we go the event here i found out from the comments as well that one side of the garage will be run by the vr46 team so that's interesting to know. So that's our side. Marini, let's do this then. We've got a full tank of fuel so we can run some power mode 2 early on. Just to help us through a little bit. Just to jump up a few people at the uh, start of this Grand Prix. We're already making it into P13. Making a statement here at Qatar. This will obviously be Marini's first Grand Prix. As long as the first Grand Prix doesn't change from Qatar, I doubt it would. Oh, there's a crash on the outside there. Someone came absolutely storming in, and it is Zarco and Petrucci. They uh, obviously make some sort of collision. I'll we'll have, have to look at a replay later on just to see what sort of happened there. But anyway, we're off to a pretty decent start, to be honest. Ooh, as long as I stay off the Astro turf around the outside of Rins. Now, Suzuki must be very, very happy after winning with Mir, then Rins coming again back to uh, performance really after his injury, they must be so pleased with their rider lineup and set up at the minute and they'd be interested to see if they run a second team and if you're Valentino Rossi thinking of setting up a MotoGP team you'd be wanting that Suzuki probably you'd be thinking I've, ro I've rode this Yamaha for the last how many years and they're, they're uh, not really showing any potential at the minute, could all change next year, you never know but We'll see, yeah. So I wonder whether Suzuki will run a second team. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, Reb, uh, uh, KTM, can think of the name then. KTM obviously done it with Tech 3. And they even won a race. <laughs> Pretty mad. Anyway, we've got Rossi. And then speaking of KTM, we've got Oliveira on the factory team. So let's see if we can follow Rossi's through on Oliveira. Power mode 2, yes, come on, on the brakes, getting alongside Valentino Rossi, not quite able to get the move on the brakes, very strong on the brakes, and then you've got his teammate up the road, Morbidelli, and then Quattararo as well on the Yamaha, KTM 2, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens next year, I, I, I have the big question over next year is Mark Marquez, will he be back in time for fitness? And uh, I really hope so. If not, you've got to think that Brada will be raring to go for that that seat. Especially come the end of the season when he started to 
actually pick up some decent pace. But uh, yeah, that, that's a big question mark over next year. And once we get confirmation of that, as well as the Aprilia rider, I'm still yet to see who it is. Um, then uh, again, that'll be our rider lineup 100% confirmed. But we've got a pretty good idea as it is who's going to be riding which bike. It's just, you know, will Marquez return and who will have that final Aprilia seat? And getting back into things in this race, Rossi's pulling away a little bit. I don't know if it's now everyone's sort of spreading out a bit and everyone's starting to push whether our Ducati's lacking the pace or whether they just, I don't know, they just up, up their pace, I don't know. Let's see, we've got Rins behind. We've got to keep an eye and manage that gap. And run deep into that final corner. And grip through the corners. Obviously, being the Avintia, it uh, doesn't seem to have the grip, but you know, we can work with that. 53.5, 55.1, almost two seconds off of Mark Marquez. But it's Marquez racing uh, me around at the front on the Suzuki. So it'll be interesting to see how everyone else performs compared to Marquez next year. But uh, I am interested to see how Rossi's going to be on that Patronus bike, to be honest. Will a change of scenery help him out? Because he's had a few tough years. And I feel like if, if he has another tough year, he isn't going to resign. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But right now, I'm liking the look of Valentino on the uh, the old Patronus bike, to be honest. It suits him well. We've got to be alongside Morbidelli as well. Probably a lot less pressure around that side of the Yamaha camp, especially compared to the factory team. And the thing is, how's Quattararo going to react? Big shoes to fill. And especially after the poor form in the second half of this season in MotoGP 20. I don't know. It's going to be uh, interesting f next year for Yamaha. And I imagine the Patronus team will perform a lot better than the factory team. It's a bit embarrassing, really, isn't it? But right now, I'm starting to close down Valentino. It's been a much better lap. And uh, the Suzuki behind is sort of not able to catch up. So we're going to come across the line to mark the halfway point in the race. 55-1 was our previous lap time. 53-7, that's more like it. Not too far off a front runner pace either, which is good for Bastianini. Not Bastianini, <laughs> Marini. Bastianini's behind somewhere. A teammate, of course, on the other side of the, the garage. But let's see, can we get Valentino then? And where can we get him? It's pulled away a little bit at the start of this lap. But it looks like both Patronus Yamahas have caught. Uh, it looks to be Brad Binder probably on that KTM. It's a matter of time before Morbidelli gets Brad Binder, I think. And uh, if they can battle, they can back themselves up into our grasp. I'll take that. I'll take any position right now. Running around in P8, which isn't too bad for Marini. I feel like if Marini managed to get P8 in his first race, he'd be chuffed to bits. Let's see. The rear tyre is going to get a little bit hot over the next few laps, and especially probably the last lap of the race, but we can just manage it and work with it. Plenty of fuel on board too. Come on, round turn 12. Oh, 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 we're all over the back of Valentino now. Oh, it's only a matter of corners now, surely. Are we going to go for it? Uh, thought about it. Didn't quite have the uh, the performance on the brakes there compared to Valentino on the Yamaha. Very strong combo on the brakes. Now, can our Ducati blast down the straight? We're going to have to pick up the slipstream, but surely the Duke is going to get the run on the Yamaha. It is. We're going to flick to the inside. A little bit of contact there. And then on the brakes, Morbidelli through on the KTM. I'm actually get through on the KTM as well. 
Straight line speed in abundance for Ducati, of course. Now through the corners, I think Binder's probably going to struggle a little bit, so that will give us a bit of a breather from Valentino. But can we go with Morbidelli now? Morbidelli has clear out. We're going to see him unleash some pace probably, so I need to try to go with him or get a bit of an overtake. But he's taking a look. And if we can get in the top five for Luca Marini in his first race, well, that will just be something, won't it? Ooh, sorry, Morbidelli. Tagged him. <laughs> oh, that was extra cheeky. That was extra cheeky. How'd you like your Nando's? Extra cheeky. I can't believe we just did that. <laughs> we just shoved our nose in. And we got through. I thought we were going to really probably sit in behind him for a, at least a lap. But, uh, yep, we're through. We made the jump. Next little Quasararo. We couldn't quite get Quattararo in the last race, and it looks like it's probably going to be the same thing. This time it's over P4 rather than the win. But I need to make sure I can get more with Elliot Bay. This is our first time really running in clear air without a reference, and already running wide, probably overriding the bike a little bit as we're just pushing, and obviously our tyres have had it in this race. We've only got one more lap to go, and you can see Valentino's clear Brad Binder now, and he's behind Morbidelli. And we've got them both behind us, but I do have a probably a full lap's worth of power mode too to use up, use up the last reserves in our uh, fuel tank. So let's go for it on this lap. I feel like we've probably lost a little bit of time. So the podium is Mir, Marquez, Miller, Quattararo, then us. 53.9, not a bad lap time, but just not quite front runner pace. And uh, let's see. If I can keep the momentum up, keep the pressure on, maybe Quattararo will make a mistake. Or maybe his tyres will go, who knows what will happen. Maybe my tyres will go. <laughs> Look at that around there. My Ducati has had enough. You can see we're just running wide there. 2.383 is the gap. Still plenty of power mode too. So we can use that probably for most of this lap at least. We're going to keep it in until things look bit sketchy. <laughs> Out of turn six. Blast for turn seven. Oh, I took it in. Hold a nice tight line around turn seven. And then we've got a bit of a short sprint to turn eight. And then we're going to flick it over into turn nine. Ooh, a bit of a stoppy as well. Not what you need. But Quattararo struggling on this last lap by the looks of things. Seems to be... Uh, Losing a little bit of time in each sector. Just a little bit, a few tenths here and there. But it'll add up over the course of a lap. Now I'm going to have to turn down the fuel. Not feeling confident we'll get to the end if we keep running power mode 2. I want to make sure I end this race in the top 5. 1.6, we've caught up 8 tenths in the course of this lap so far. Give it another lap. We'd have been right on the back of uh, Quattararo, I think. But, looks like we're going to be able to hold on. For that top five finish, no mistakes into the final corner, please. Blast for the line, then. Small little wheelie, but we get away with it. Morbidelli's going to have to stay there. Mir takes the win from probably Marquez, then Miller. And we come across the line for P5. Not a bad little race, that. Not bad at all. Marquez did get P2. Miller P3, Quattararo P4. What's going on down the grid? Who got fastest lap of the race as well? In the end, we got 53.5, so matching that front runner pace in the end too. Good there. Rossi Binder wins. Vinales, Nakagami, Oliveira, Alex Marquez. Got a Spagro there as well. Martin, Bastianini, Laquona, Zarco, 53 flat. Bagnaia, Spagro, Savadori, and Petrucci. So then, that has been it for today's video on the MotoGP 2021 mod. For the PC, you can only use this mod on the PC if you have MotoGP 20. Link will be in the description as always to go ahead and download it. And thank you very much, of course, to the mod creator for pulling this mod together. So let me know down below in the comments which rider and track combinations you want me to do. I'm thinking Jack Miller next or even Alex Marquez next. Um, just so we can switch up the manufacturers, we've done a Ducati, so maybe we should do a Honda or a KTM next. Um, but let me know down below. Uh, we will get through probably at least one race with each rider. 
Um, and of course, we've got the, the, the MotoGP 2021 career mode coming in the new year. We'll be finishing off the Suzuki one with the existing sort of mod setup so we'll leave that as it is so i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video and this gameplay let me know down below if you want more if you did enjoy remember to smash that like button share it around with your friends and do not forget to subscribe for more so have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one